Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about large time frames like weekly, monthly and we will figure out what's going on with the stock market world. Is it bullish trend? As usually, let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for Weeble. My name is Vadik, let's start from Weeble. If you want to learn about Weeble setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Weeble setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving at moving averages, white line as MA200, purple line MA100, blue line moving averages 50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10 and green line MA5. Below MACD lines, RSI lines, awesome oscillator bars. That's all very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful. Like MA5, you see my indicator MA5 green line did bearish crossover of a red line. It was bearish reversal signal for me. When MA5 did bullish crossover over red line, it is bullish reversal signal. That's how it works. Very simple. As of now, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, uh, DXY, USA dollar, USA dollar, let's start daily, right? Daily bullish trend, last bar above all moving averages, M M MA 10, 20, 10, 5, 10 and 20, did bullish crossover over 200, it is bullish setup, weekly, also bullish setup, MA 5 green line did bullish crossover over red, bullish setup but it last bar post kind of stopped at MA 100 purple line and MA 20 yellow it could be resistant it's powerful setup on weekly time frame monthly last bar still below MA 20 below yellow line it is bearish territory it's a bearish territory quarterly last bar above all moving averages it's kind of it's ready for bearish reversal trend but still fighting for the bullish okay it's usa dollar let's move to queues let's start queues daily right queues daily bullish trend on all indicators bearish divergences nothing changed no bearish reversal signal bearish divergence bearish divergence it means market has bearish condition it's ready for bearish reversal but no signal yet it also left multiple gaps below around like seven gaps below or eight gaps below it's also will be filled someday so far it is bullish look at it weekly time frame bullish trend bearish divergences on all indicators it means condition is ready for bearish but no bearish reversal signal yet still signal bullish monthly same monthly look at it price action is bullish right and macd bearish divergence huge bearish divergence rsi huge bearish divergence awesome oscillator huge bearish divergence right nothing changed and quarterly same story bullish trend bearish divergences on all indicators same issue bullish trend with bearish divergences and bars disconnected from sma 20. that's what we are observe right this lines it's my expected support levels for future okay SP 500 SPX let's start daily daily you see bullish trend bearish divergences on all indicators nothing changed right what's going on let's see bearish divergence
bearish divergence and bearish divergence okay let's see weekly weekly no actually divergences on weekly and let's see we monthly monthly actually i can extend this line right yeah bullish trend and what we observed bearish divergence on macd bearish divergence on rsi even stronger look at uh, over here bearish divergence big time started from 2018 right look at this is 2018 bearish divergence and here also bearish divergence multiple bearish divergences Q's bullish trend multiple bearish divergences same story nothing changed Dow Jones let's start Dow Jones similar story bullish trend no bearish reversal signal same for for s p 500 bullish trend no bearish reversal signal yes it has bearish divergences but no bearish reversal signal same for dow jones bullish trend no bearish reversal signal weekly bullish trend no divergences no bearish reversal signal monthly mm monthly bullish trend and uh, bearish divergences right bearish divergence also starts from 2018 big time big time on rsi only multiple bearish divergences bullish trend no bearish reversal signal quarterly same story quarterly bullish trend this lines it's my support future support lines bearish divergences bullish trend no bearish reversal signal yet straight bull run right from 2008 2009 for dow jones this is 2009 look at it month quarterly time frame straight bull run this is, was 2020 like from 2009 we observed one large one quarter in 2018 one quarter in 2020 three quarters in 2022 that's all everything else it was green green bull market and that's why you see it has multiple bearish divergences from 2018 it's building bearish divergences from 2018 on rsi price action it, it moves up and up and up and rsi moves down it's building bearish divergence that's why it can easy to touch this level yellow line support it can even touch this lemon blue line purple line and even red line it's a top of 2009 2007 it's a top of 2007 previous previous high of the before recession okay iwm russell 2000 let's start daily daily last bar above all moving averages bullish trend right weekly same last bar above all moving averages still in the bullish territory bullish trend bullish position monthly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend quarterly last bar above all moving averages and last bar sma5 did very bullish crossover over sma10 it's a bullish trend 
Apple, let's see, Apple, Apple daily, it did bounce, SMA5 did bullish crossover, still below 20, still in a fight mode, sideways, I would say, weekly, it's still above SMA20, but below SMA10, also sideways, monthly, last bar, still above all moving averages, still bullish, and yeah, it, it has bearish divergences, right? Multiple bearish divergences on weekly also. You see bearish divergences on weekly, same story. MACD, RSI, awesome oscillator bearish divergence. Monthly, same bearish divergences on all indicators. Quarterly, bullish trend, bearish divergences on all indicators. Same story, look at RSI, has huge bearish divergence for Apple. Tesla, let's see Tesla. Tesla daily, it's trying to do bullish reversal, but we'll see if it can uh, do bullish crossover over 20, over the yellow line, or it will, it will be rejected. So far, bullish reversal signal on daily. Weekly, weekly very negative, very bearish, last bar below all moving averages, still bearish for Tesla. Monthly, also last bar below all moving averages except 100, it is bearish trend. Quarterly, also it did touch the SMA20, usually SMA20 was strong support and it did bounce from it. If it's going to cross SMA, MA20 yellow line, it will be very, very bad for Tesla. All indicators, MACD, RSI, they want to go bearish. NVIDIA, the most powerful stock, right? Most powerful stock. Well, NVIDIA stock, it's like all Chinese stock market. Okay, bullish trend NVIDIA daily time frame on all indicators. Weekly. Bullish trend and it destroyed bearish. No, it's RSI has bearish divergence. It didn't destroy it yet. Uh, here, let's see. Yeah, I think it destroyed already. Uh, flat. Yeah, it's still bearish divergence. Still bearish divergence there. Bullish trend with bearish divergences on weekly, monthly. Monthly RSI still has divergence even from 2017. Bullish trend. Quarterly. Huge blow of top. Bearish divergence on RSI. From 2018. Bullish trend. Huge disconnection. It definitely will, will have correction. Microsoft. Daily. Bullish trend, bearish divergences, no bearish reversal signal. Weekly, same bullish trend, bearish divergences, no bearish reversal signal. Monthly, same look at it, bullish trend and bearish divergence on every indicator. Same on RSI, same on the awesome oscillator. Bullish trend with bearish divergences on monthly. Quarterly. Same story. Bearish divergence quarterly, right? Bullish trend. And bearish divergence on the histogram. Bearish. Not, not on the MACD. Bullish trend. Amazon. Let's see Amazon daily. Amazon daily bullish trend, no divergences, weekly 
bullish trend, no divergences, monthly bullish trend, it's building divergences, but it's not confirmed yet because it didn't reach the high. Still needs ten dollars to go. Bullish trend, yeah, same on the quarterly, right? It's building bearish divergences, it's not done. Bullish trend. And Baba. Baba daily did uh, Alibaba group, right? Daily did jump, bullish trend, and did reversal. Now it's in a reversal position, last bar below all moving averages. Weekly. Bullish crossover weekly, uh, still bearish. Monthly, last bar still below all moving averages, also bearish. MACD uh, also oscillator already switched to bullish, but territory and position of the uh, price is bearish. Quarterly, it is also bearish. Baba is very, very weak. Let's do summary. Dollar is kind of positive, still bullish. All indexes and equities, they all still bullish on all time frames with bearish divergences on all indicators and no bearish reversal signal. Only bearish divergence condition. That's all. But trend is still bullish. For last 15 weeks, it just moves bullish for Qs. For S&P 500, straight bull run uh, without any changes. On monthly, look at it. Straight bull run for the two legs. Usually, after two legs, it should do correction. But you never know. So far, it's still very overbought. It left a lot of gaps below, a lot of divergences. But still bullish trend. We didn't get any bearish reversal signals yet. We know. Uh, remember, we follow the trend. We we don't fight with the trend. If trend change direction, we have to change direction. So far, trend is bullish. It didn't change direction to bearish. We have to follow the trend. Respect the trend. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. And now let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper training simulator. Thank you for watching simple training style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.